you, you obviously had an amazing year. Was it quite disappointing to not go to the Euros? And did you, did you have any conversation with Gareth at the time? Um, yeah, it was definitely something I was, I was pushing for. Um, but there's so many good players um, that can rep represent England. Um, probably one of the strongest in the world. So um, it's not easy to, to pick. And uh, yeah, I didn't quite manage to, to make the squad, which yeah, I was disappointed about. But um, yeah, that's football. Is that something you've been using as motivation then having watched the tournament and you know thinking maybe I could get there for the, in the next squad? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, like I mentioned, it's a, it's a dream to play for your country, represent your country. So, um, yeah, when you don't select it, don't get selected, it definitely um, motivates you to, to work even harder to, to make the next one. And has it um, the process for you settling in, having you know been in so many different age group sides for England in the past, has it made it easier for you to come straight back into the squad after such a long absence? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's still a lot of familiar faces here. So, um, yeah, it's been quite easy to settle in. Um, I knew a few of the boys as well already. So, um, yeah, it's a great, great environment. Should we go over to Tom there and then we'll come back to Craig? Yeah. Hi, Don. Hi. Um, one of the things that Ange in particular has talked about at Tottenham is your, your pressing ability and how available you are for games. You never seem to get injured, apart from, obviously, the first <laughs> couple of games. Um, what's your secret, I guess? Um, no secret, really. I think um, I just enjoy working hard. Um, I've enjoyed, enjoyed working hard from, from young. And I think, uh, yeah, in football, I think it's, it's a given, really, that you, you need to work hard these days. And I think... Um, looking after your body and all that stuff as well is a is big part of, of football these days, especially with um, the amount of games that we play. And um, I know you've spoken before about your, your love of anime for your goal celebrations. Um, now you're playing for England, it, probably not everyone is aware of it, so if you could explain the sort of background behind that and have you thought that if you do score a goal, <laughs> have you got a celebration in mind? Um, yeah, I think a lot, a lot of people know that the love I have for anime. Um, something that I love watching, um, love following. So it's something that um, off the pitch I'm quite passionate about. And uh, yeah, last season I did a few few celebrations and um, a lot of people enjoyed it. So I kind of just carried on with it. And um, yes, it's kind of part of what yeah people expect me to do when I score now. So um, yeah, who knows? You may, you've got something in mind? So. Uh, not at the moment, but um might think of something. And just finally, um, Back at Bournemouth, you obviously went, got relegated, which was obviously a, presumably a, a blow. But if, if anything, you came back stronger and it almost, from the outside, looked like the launch pad to where you are today. In a weird way, I'm sure you wouldn't have thought of it this way at the time. But was that almost the key to your success now? Yeah, I think it definitely played a, a big part. Um, no one wants to get relegated. Everyone wants to, to play Premier League football. But... Um, for me, uh, when we got relegated, I saw it as an opportunity to to play every game, get minutes, and um, that's that's what happened. Because um, when when we was in the Premier League, I didn't have a, a full run of games, starting every game. So for the opportunity to go do it in the Championship, just find my feet, score a lot of goals, and um, come back to the Premier League, uh, a different player, um, that uh, definitely helped me. Hi Dominic, you're back in the squad now as a Spurs player, but last season at Bournemouth was arguably the best you've played throughout your entire career, 21 goals. Was there a feeling that as a Bournemouth player it was harder to get into the England squad? Um, nah, I feel like it's up to the manager who he picks. Um, I think over the years you've seen players um, come into the setup from from any team. So um, like I mentioned earlier, the, the squad depth is, is huge and yeah, for this country. So um, it's always going to be difficult to, to make the squad that way. So special when you do get the call up to to make the most of it. But was, the, was moving to Spurs and the platform of European football, a, a bigger club, if you like, with regards to England, was that part of your thinking? Um, no, not really. I think, um, obviously, I wanted to, to move to, to Tottenham. Um, it's a great club. Um, but yeah, that side of the game uh, comes from, from doing well for your club anyway. So... Um, it was just a, just another opportunity to, to go and play at a high level, and um, yeah, I'm thankful to to be back here now. Hi, Dom. Um, you seem to already enjoy at Spurs playing with James Madison. You know, I mean, I can imagine he's a, a great supplier, a great player to play with. 
what does it say about the this England squad that he's not in it? And have you spoken to him about that? Has he expressed his disappointment in not being able to get back into the squad? Yeah, I've known Maddis for, for a few years now. We uh, shared the, the pitch of England uh, throughout the youth, youth ages. Um, obviously a great player, a great person. And um, yeah, obviously everyone wants to, to be called up. So when you're not, you're obviously going to be disappointed. But um, he, he started the season great. And um, I know how motivated he is to, to get back into the setup. So um, yeah, hopefully if he carries on doing the, the things he is, that, that he'll be back in no time. Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, there's there's not 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 many uh, countries in the world that have um, the attacking depth that that England do. So um, it's always going to be difficult to to pick the the limited amount of players. But um, like I said, James is a, is a great player and um, someone that can can help any team. So um, yeah, hopefully he can can make it back. Dom, you mentioned to carry that your shirt from the Brazil game was up on your wall. Um, what did you used to think when you when you saw it? What was was it an inspiration to sort of make it two caps? Was that what was going through your mind when you used to see it on your wall? Um, just great memories, to be honest. And um, yeah, I think over the years, um, when I do see it, I've always thought, when I when I make it back there and and win more caps for my country, and um, yeah, having something like that on the wall is definitely extra motivation. And do you have your cap out as well? Um, no, nah, not yet. Um, just the shirts up at the moment, but um, I'm sure that the caps will be out on display. And, and just with regard to, there's there's been quite a few strikers since you played who, who've come in, and it's still Harry Kane is still you know England's best f first striker. How difficult a task is it going to be to sort of you know displace him to in effect? Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, um, Harry's. They were one in a lifetime striker, um, done so well for, for club and country for many years. Um, but like I keep saying, we got so many, so many great players and whenever we need to, to step in and, and help the country, I'm sure we're, we're all um, willing and ready. Hi Dom, you had a great chance at the end of that uh, Brazil friendly. I don't know if you remember, I just wonder what you remember of that opportunity that you had and, and whether you thought much about it and that, that chance to score for England. Yeah, no, that would have would have topped off nicely. Um, I think it was against Allison as well, which was at Liverpool about the time. So it would have been been great to score against him. But um, yeah, no, like like you said, it would have been would have been great. But um, now I'm still so happy to to have that moment. Uh, just last one here, then Mike. Do you want to go? Just get a microphone. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, at the Euros, some of the the. Uh, Ivan Tony and, and Ollie Watkins, they were sometimes uh, in training, they were kind of defenders against Harry. It, I know it's only been a day, but have you been doing new kind of attacking form? Have you been working in attacking formations um, today, you know, without Harry? Um, no, I think obviously coming uh, straight to the camp after the weekend where we, we all played uh, football, we haven't really had the opportunity to do much in training yet because we're still doing recovery too. So um, I'm sure over the next few days we'll, we'll work a bit more, but um, we haven't done too much yet. And, and personally, I mean, if you are called upon to start, do you, do you feel ready, ready to take that challenge? Yeah, of course. Um, like I said, I've I've come a long way since the last time I was here, and um, yeah, I played a lot of football, a lot of experience, and uh, I feel great in confidence right now. So. Um, yeah, if, if I'm called upon, I'll definitely be ready. Okay, well, yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>